Hi, I'm Steve Garrett, and I'd like to share a thought with you about scouting. In particular, I'd like to share a thought or two about Space Exploration Merit Badge. Now, this would seem like a, a natural as a STEM topic, science, technology, engineering, and math, and it would also seem like something that is a relatively new merit badge. In reality, it's over 50 years old. It's not the most popular merit badge. Scouts seem to earn about one-third as many space uh, exploration merit badges as the most popular merit badge, which is first aid. Yet it is still popular. And uh, we live in an area here, and I'm not sure where you're watching this, but I live in an area, uh, Greater Los Angeles Area Council, Pasadena, uh, San Gabriel Valley. I, I live in an area where this has just got to be a natural merit badge. Um, let me suggest some activities that your, that your troop, uh, your patrol, your kids can indulge themselves in that they may enjoy. One of them would be uh, a, either a day or an overnight hike to Mount Wilson. You can follow the old Mount Wilson toll road that leads from Eaton Canyon in Pasadena. It's the same road that they hauled all of the materials to build the observatories on top of Mount Wilson. And when you get up to top of Mount Wilson, there, there's several campsites along the way and near there, but when you get to the top of Mount Wilson, you have the Mount Wilson observatories, a 60 inch and a 100 inch telescope. On weekends, they offer tours. Um, there are exhibits, there sometimes are lectures and things going on up there, but it's a fascinating place. It's where Edwin Hubble, of Hubble telescope fame, discovered that the universe is not static, it's growing, it's expanding. And from that we came to the theory of the Big Bang, we came to the ability to age the universe to 13.8 billion years, so much space exploration took place on the top of Mount Wilson. It's a great place to exhibit. To, it's a great place to visit. There's a lot of activity up there. Not far from, uh, from Eaton Canyon, on the other side of Altadena, Pasadena, is the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Another place that's uh, just got to be made for people who are interested in space exploration merit badge. Uh, they also offer exhibits. You can see mission control, you can see the vehicle assembly building, you can see the Mars yard where they, they work with the robots to figure out how they're going to work on Mars. They also have exhibits in a museum and they welcome scouts there. They have uh, lots of uh, tours available and uh, it's a fascinating place. And then, then there's downtown Los Angeles. Downtown Los Angeles, Exhibition Park uh, near the Coliseum, uh, Museum of Space and Science and they have an endeavor there, a real space shuttle, one that really went out into orbit and spent a lot of time out there. When they retired the space shuttles, one of them came to Los Angeles, and you can go visit it. And uh, there's exhibits down there, there's tours, it's open all the time. And if that isn't enough, just about a three hour drive up US 101 is Vandenberg Air Force Base. And Vandenberg Air Force Base also offers tours. When I was, when I was a uh, troop leader, I made arrangements for the troop to go up there, spent the weekend, they took them on tours, they fed them lunch at the uh, uh, NCO club, they put them up in the bachelor office quarters, and they showed them, well, they showed them where they trained the security dogs, they showed them the weather station, but they also showed them a vehicle assembly building, they showed them mission control, and a space launch complex. And if you plan your things right, you could be there when they have a space launch, a launch of a missile. Now, you don't really need to be on the base because some of the best viewing area for launches is are off base. Uh, in fact, one of them isn't even, it's, it's on Highway 101 south of Vandenberg Air Force Base, sort of in the Goleta area. There's a turnoff and it's a great place to watch a missile launch from. So those are some of my thoughts about Space Exploration Merit Badge. I, I have a feeling that if you were to advertise it a little bit, put some stuff on Facebook, put some things out at the schools, put some things on the local newspaper, have your scouts talk to other people, you might find some young people who are interested and would, would maybe just join your troop for nothing else but to participate in these activities. So those are my thoughts. I have thoughts every week, subscribe. Next thought might be even more interesting.